Welcome to Paraphrase, the web-based translation management system for enterprises. In this video, we walk you through the owner, admin, and user features available to you as a member of your team's Paraphrase account. Paraphrase gives you the ability to perform secure and confidential file translations online, improve translation quality, and reuse previous translations. This saves you a significant amount of time and money. To access your account information, first log into Paraphrase. Next, click your name at the top of the screen. This brings you to your profile page. So let's start by reviewing the profile page. First, we'll review the owner role. The owner profile consists of your basic information as well as some other options in regards to your plan and your role. Please note that your email address must contain your organization's domain name after the at symbol. It's important that you enter a cell phone number in the cell phone field because multi-factor authentication does not work with landlines. Paraphrase does not use your cell number other than for multi-factor authentication. In the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see several links. Click Upgrade to get more words, user seats, or features for your account. Transfer Ownership allows owners to transfer ownership from one person to another. Owners can transfer ownership to any person on their plan. Clicking on Transfer Ownership will trigger a pop-up with a drop-down menu of all of the users to whom they can transfer ownership. After they choose a new owner, Paraphrase will send the chosen user an email for them to accept the role of owner. Click View Total Words Used to view an analytics page that shows a count of total words used by each user on your account. Words Used This Period gives you the total for the current billing cycle. Total Words Used gives you the total since the plan's start date. Words Available is the total words left in your plan. View Billing History is where you can view a record of your billing dates, the plan you paid for, and the amount billed on each date. You can also see the plan's start date and end date, as well as how many words are included. We also make it easy for you to print your invoice from this page. Enable 2FA is where you can enable two-factor authentication for your account. It requires the user to have an authentication app on their phone. Paraphrase will send authentication codes to this app instead of via SMS or email. 2FA is the most secure authentication process available today, and Paraphrase highly recommends its use. Change plan to free is where you can downgrade your plan. Keep in mind the free plan only includes view access for active documents. You cannot perform any new translations. If you already had translation memories, you would only be able to view those too. However, you cannot apply them to new translations. But you can download your translation memories into TMX format and glossaries into TBX format. Change payment method is where you can enter new credit card information. If your credit card gets declined, your plan may revert to free. Delete my account deletes all your data nothing will be recoverable. At Paraphrase, security is very important to us and our customers. Not only have we undergone third-party penetration testing, we also completed a third-party HIPAA audit. We are GDPR compliant as well. The admin role and the owner role have a few key differences. The admin's profile does not include transfer team ownership, view billing history, change plan to free, or change payment method. The owner is responsible for making payments and ensuring that your account is in good standing. Now that we've covered the user profile page, let's move on to manage users. This page allows you to add users to your account by sending email invites. To invite someone to your account, enter their email address and click send invites. You can also add users found under your domain. Paraphrase shows you a list of users with your exact domain that exist in the Paraphrase system, which means they are part of your organization. However, the people on this list are not yet on your organization's plan. This way, you can easily add them to your plan. Paraphrase allows you to see a list of users on your account along with the number of available seats remaining. For user roles, there are three roles, owner, admin, and user. You can assign roles to users and you can either make someone an admin or a user. If you are an account owner, you can transfer ownership to someone else within your domain. Owners are responsible for payment. Admins can add or disable users and assign translation memories to users. Clicking Disable will disable a user's access to your account. They will no longer be able to access your organization's translation memories, data, or files within Paraphrase. You also have the flexibility to control translation memory group permissions. The default translation memory group setting is public. This means all your users on your account and within your domain can use your domain's translation memories. If you are the owner of an account, you can make a translation memory group accessible to specific users within your organization. If you set it to none, you are bypassing the translation memory functionality, meaning no one in your organization can edit translations or create translation memories. 
users can only translate and download files. You can also choose different options by department. So for example, you might allow your communications department to use translation memories, while your legal department may want to translate without using translation memory. Let's talk about security. As an admin, you have some important security features at your disposal to keep your organization and users safe from online predators. Owners and admins can control how many minutes pass before your users are automatically logged off after being inactive. The default user automatic log off time is set for every 30 minutes of inactivity. User automatic log off is one of Paraphrase's many enterprise level security features. Organizations can quickly and easily use single sign-on. Single sign-on provides a great balance between accessibility and security. If you need to remove your SSO session at any point, you can do so by clicking on the Remove SSO Session link on the user profile page. Paraphrase not only supports Microsoft Single Sign-On, but also MS Azure AD and Okta. Now we'll move on to the User Audit Trail page. User Audit Trail is another security feature. It allows the administrator to see every user action or sign-out action a user has taken on the account. Auditors can quickly view user actions with timestamps. Next is the Translation Memories page. Here, you can import your translation memories and glossaries. The column named Last Updated displays a date and timestamp for when a translation memory or glossary was last updated. Type is the type of file, TMX, TBX, or CSV. Paraphrase supports all three. Words is the number of words in the translation memory or glossary. Language pair is the source and target language. Group is the group of users using that translation memory or glossary. Click the gear icon to download these files or to clean your translation memories. This allows you to go in and fix entries in the translation memory. It's important to note that the translation memories and glossaries in Paraphrase are only bilingual. The file time audit page helps you understand how much effort and time edited translations take. It tells you how much time someone spent post-editing a first draft file translation. You can also see how many words and segments they changed out of the total words and segments that exist for each file. The file time audit keeps translators transparent about how much time they use and how many words they edit. This is also an incentive for them to be more productive. Moving on to the API page, this is where developers can get all the information they need to integrate our API with their other applications and systems. So if your organization wanted to integrate Paraphrase with its content management system, you could pass this information on to your IT or development team. Last but not least, the translation engine page gives you the flexibility to set your default translation engine depending on your plan. And for users who aren't admins or owners, their user profile page and accessibility will look like this. To wrap up this video, we're going to talk about the benefits of translating with Paraphrase. When you use Paraphrase, you experience continuous translation quality improvements, get access to a platform with enterprise level security, and benefit from low user cost. The more people who use Paraphrase at your organization, the faster and bigger the return will be. To learn more about the features that power Paraphrase, watch our other videos. Just subscribe to our channel to stay tuned and like this video if you found it helpful.